people are familiar with the idea that I'm on a kind of mission, <laughs> you know, and that one of those missions is to establish a presence for certain kinds of images that we have uh, a lack or a weak representation of. The history of art is structured institutionally in academia and in institutions like museums. That comprises an arena in which a certain kind of winning has been taking place for a long time. So it's not a contest, uh, uh, it's not a contest about building. <laughs> At this point, for, for us, when we arrive on the scene where they're already well established, so now the contest is access. And the terms of engagement that determine whether you have access or whether you don't have access are pretty well fixed, as well as the institutions are, are pretty well fixed. Now, you can orient your action, your activity, so that you can get into places that are already established, or you can orient your activity so that you establish a new place that sits alongside it. Both those things are necessary. Uh, but the level at which they are, are realized is also really important. So my first thing was, yes, you know, I like this museum, but I want to be in this museum too. <laughs> I like these art history books, but I want to be in those art history books too. So then I had to figure out, well, I mean, what, is, what would it take for me to be able to be in those places, in both those places? So there's a difference between making paintings and changing the idea of what paintings are supposed to look like. Those are two separate things. <laughs> there's a difference between driving a car and building cars. So where's the, mo where's the privileged position in these relationships? To me, the privileged position is always in the place where you are making the car, not whether you're driving the car. The privileged position is the capacity to make the character, to create a character that operates within the culture as if it's essential, <laughs> that it can't be done without, and that it begins to shape the paradigm against which everybody else has to measure their success. 